what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk today again about jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn we're in the month of june um uh, i know screen media recently came out and they gave us an update regarding the new megan fox movie that's coming out from them later this year not even later this year it's actually coming out next month so we can expect that movie to come out next month which you know is being distributed by screen media so we don't need to expect jeepers creepers reborn to come out in july at this point that leaves now of course august september october november december assuming it will still come out this year if there has been no delay in the year it's supposed to come out in as far as we know it's still supposed to come out this fall so i'm still leaning towards a potential august release for the anniversary we could of course still get the october release since that's what's been popping up on a couple of different websites some that i've mentioned in previous videos i did actually give a specific release date that germany apparently has for october 28th but getting into what i want to talk about with this video today i want to talk about how this film should end now we know that we will be centering on a boyfriend girlfriend dynamic between chase who is going to be played some presumably by uh i can't even think of the actor's name now like irving adams or something like that I, i'm pretty sure that's wrong and then his girlfriend lane played by sydney craven and we know that their friend sam is going to be right along with them i revealed that in my last video that's a character that we are going to expect to have in this film he'll be a friend of lane's he's in his 20s he rides a, drives in a sports car and he'll be joining them at this little horror convention so how should the film end knowing that we'll be focusing on that little relationship dynamic between boyfriend and girlfriend presumably we'll have chase searching for lane after she is placed into trouble with the creeper at some point during the film what i expect this movie to do at the end of the film or what i would hope is that it's something that is a callback to what happened at the end of the first film because the past two entries in chronological order jeepers creepers 3 and jeepers creepers 2 the creeper has been on a decline as far as like getting victories he's gotten more l's than victories as far as i'm concerned he hasn't died in any of them but at the end of the third one they knew what he was apparently and we saw him let out that obnoxious cringeworthy like cry that they had him do at the end of the end of the third film which wasn't even really i think new new screams that was just kind of like bits from the end of the first film that they filled in for those screams at the end of the third film well he got on his knees and was screaming like that which was ridiculous to see and then in the second film he took another l by failing to of course eat all the teens he wanted to eat and then of course the farmer jack taggart got the best of him even though he did not kill him he put him up on display at the end of his cycle he's now profiting off of this thing making money telling stories about how he killed the thing that killed his son he's waiting in the barn waiting to see if the legends he's been told for the past 23 years and 23 years prior to that by minxie herself are indeed true and if this thing will wake up to wreak havoc once again so that's two l's that the creeper has taken so far as far as i'm concerned compared to that one victory that he seemingly got at the end of the first film and that's because he was working on a smaller scale then when you're raising the stakes it's it it's creating it creates this this spot for this titular villain to kind of put him against the odds of having come out on top which he hasn't come out on top for the third entry or the second entry he's not dead but he's taken taken the l as far as i'm concerned so i want him to get a w how i would prefer this movie ends is either chase or lane dying to sacrifice themselves for the other going with the creeper maybe we'll get something that again is a callback to the end of the first film where they will be put in a similar predicament but maybe the creeper will take this person up on their offer this time because we know it seems that he understood what trish wanted him to do at the end of the first film but he still told her to go f herself and he took dairy he ate the back of dairy's head took his eyes and we know how that movie went so hopefully we'll get to see him take someone up on their offer if that's the similar circumstance they find themselves in at the end of jeepers creepers 4 or maybe something will happen where chase wanting to save his girlfriend lane so badly the creeper finds something in both protagonists that he wants and he takes both of them and he eats whatever he wants from them 
and the other people that are along for the ride with them because i'm expecting other characters to be along with chase hunting this thing as i've talked about in previous videos so while they're doing that the creeper will get the better will get the upper hand and he will eat not only chase he will eat lane and he will eat the other characters that are there with them trying to put an end to his new feeding frenzy that's what i would hope to see at the end of jeepers creepers 4 because we don't have like a large group of people this time around as far as we know we don't have like a a high school high school bus of basketball players that the creeper is going to have to hunt down and kill he had like a very large pack of people he was picking from in that last movie if when i say the last man we're just referring to jeepers creepers 2 jeepers creepers 2 of course was not the last movie but i'm talking in chronological order but with this one assuming that his targets are limited to like three or four maybe five people and they're all tightly tightly grouped together for the majority of the film's runtime after lane is taken by this thing he should be able to get the upper hand on all of them they should all end up losing they should not get whatever revenge any of them have in their heads they should not have some happy love story at the end if that happens and it happens but i just feel like you know you should set the stage to let us know that you know you know this is a new feeding frenzy this is a new cycle and the creeper is not playing around this time since they're trying to do a new trilogy anyway we already know and we are not know but we're expecting and anticipating that this movie will be set in the year 2024 picking up after the events of jeepers creepers 2 so you're starting a new 23 day feeding cycle so let us see the creeper in a pretty glorious moment that's not as i guess on the loser end of things like he was with jeepers creepers 3 and jeepers creepers 2 let us see this thing in a prominent position to suggest that he is an unstoppable force once again and this new freedom cycle is going to be going to be a lot more fierce and scarier than what came before that's what i would like to see that's how i would like the film to end with the creeper on top let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future without it my guys i will see you in the next video